Trish, you coming? Yes, sir. Is it me or does it always seem like I'm calling for Trish? <laughs> what? Just for the record, I am usually the first <laughs> one in the truck ready to go. No, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> okay. I'm like, Trish, Trish, are we level? Anyway, okay, hey, welcome back to KYD, by the way. Oh. And we're gonna grab some waters here and show you this view. Trish, can you grab some waters? Let me show you this, look at this. Wait, wait, can you see that? Is that not unbelievable? Okay, this is gonna be a slightly different episode this time. Not only do we get to share with you the breathtaking Denali, yes. but then also a wilderness hike. It's gonna be amazing. But we also wanted to address in this episode, what do you do when things do not go as planned? <laughs> <laughs> I always sneeze in the sun, it's on me. <laughs> That's why we can't film in the sun. <laughs> we wanna share with you some ideas on how to get your trip back on track if in fact it ever gets a little difficult. A little wobbly and starts rolling <laughs> down the hill into what we like to call the snowball. That's right, But so we have ideas on that. For right now, let's pop over to Talkeetna, Alaska where we can share with you Denali. You didn't reach the seat? You're gonna stand the whole way? Yeah. <laughs> Do you wanna switch bikes? Can we get a good thumbnail? Ooh, it's pretty. Also the free Savage River shuttle, it runs every hour on the same route. So you could also leave your rig here, take the Savage River shuttle, get out, walk at Mountain Vista. So what do you wanna do? Ah. Uh, No, we're not gonna do the bus, Caleb. All right, cause I drink three water bottles. This is bog rosemary and it is poisonous. Really cute. Bog well, like, rosemary? Yep. What do you mean by poisonous? So if I eat one, what would happen? They would build caches on their trap lines to actually keep their supplies, their food supplies, and their furs up away from the bears. Who's excited? I am excited. So we're we gonna go on a hike? Today? We are going to go on a hike and today is the most gorgeous day. So we have our fingers crossed. Yes. That we get to bring you all kinds of views. And we're gonna go on a hike and that's gonna get us there. Did you see the wing on the previous clip? Is How cool is that? So cool. So Jason with Alaska Float Plane Company sent me an email about six months ago saying, hey, I heard you guys are coming to Alaska. We'd love to take you out and show you Denali. We're gonna go take a tour around the Denali Mountains. We're gonna see it from above. Yes. Then we're gonna get dropped off at Caribou Lodge and we're gonna go on a wilderness hike. I have my telescopic, which you haven't seen yet and I can't wait to share it with you. So that's what we have going on in this episode. We're glad you're here. Let's get in the plane. Let's go. Zach, Alyssa, and Alyssa. Alyssa. Okay, great. Trish, Caleb, 
Mark. You're at Caribou Lodge, Alaska. You're about a 15 minute flight southeast of Talkeetna. Okay, so this is something that Trisha and I had no concept of until we landed here. No. This is a wilderness lodge. I guess that's like a Googleable term. <laughs> that is exactly right. And so if you're looking to go on like, uh, this is kind of a hiking wilderness. The mm -hmm. focus is hiking. People come in here, they fly in here. A lot of people from overseas, actually from Germany and uh, Sweden. I would imagine the UK also. They come here and they spend about, you know, three days to a week. Mm -hmm. And they're just completely relaxing in nature. You and, hear the birds chirping and yeah. the wind, the breeze is going across the lake. Mm -hmm. And you're out here on tundra. Yeah. Looking at the bluest skies. I mean, mm -hmm. it really is a get in touch with nature. Mm -hmm few days. And it's all inclusive, including uh, guided hiking trips and food and all that stuff. But there is there is one thing that really goes above and beyond. What's that? They have a cell booster, so it's full bars <laughs> LTE. All right, I hate, to even, really... I hate to even bring that up, but you should know. You so if there was connected. maybe one person in your party <laughs> who doesn't like to be disconnected, <laughs> you could come here. Yes. So now the plan is we're gonna pack a lunch and we're gonna go on a two mile hike up to Bear Point. I don't know if we're gonna see any bears up there. It's kind of a hot day, but it won't matter if we see much wildlife because the surrounding area is majestic. As you say, it's icing if we see an animal. That's right. Because just being here is incredible. Mm -hmm. long months With nothing showing Trish, you have a tiny blueberry there? I have a tiny blueberry in my tiny hand. <laughs> Time for a tiny dinner. <laughs> Mmm. No, no, but mm. honestly, it tastes like hey. flour, but then the, the root really tastes good. It tastes good? Mm -hmm. the Growing us to our knees, but we're still crawling. When the spring came with rain, oh, it came all the once and down. See, and the great distance over there is Denali. The far yonder. <laughs> Yes. yes. Only 25% of tourists who visit Denali National Park or this area mm -hmm. ever get to see it. It's like a glorious unveiling of the clouds and weather. Yeah. And Zach said the top, the bottom, any part of it. And to be out here and have the peak showing like that for us is amazing. But I feel like I'm walking through like the Swiss, like I feel like if it's in, somewhere in Europe. Oh, I'm going to come across a hobbit's cabin here in a minute. Yeah. Is that not the most beautiful hike ever? I only wish I could show you the rest of it, but I somehow managed to lose 120 video files when transferring over all the footage from the SD chip to the external hard drive. You know, I've already lived through it in real time. And my <laughs> stomach hurt, and now I hear it again, and my stomach hurts again. Yeah. So, um, and you know, I'm not actually surprised that we had a bit of an issue with this particular episode because that whole week <laughs> was a bit of what we're calling a snowball and what we wanted to share with you about. Yeah, so a snowball is, you know, when one thing goes wrong and then the next thing and then the next. When we arrived into Talkeetna, Jason and Arlene were so nice. We actually parked <gasps> so the rig nice. down by their airstream right above the airplane. It was awesome. Picturesque. Amazing. And that night, somehow, a single mosquito got into our so, rig through the slot. Yeah, so Mark was like, I, I just, this one mosquito is like in my ear. I'm going to turn on the light. I'm going to get rid of it. And then we're going to be able to go back to bed. And I turn on the light and I look around and I said, Trish, we are not alone. It was like Armageddon. <laughs> All the walls were covered. I'm were not hundreds joking. Of, there were hundreds of mosquitoes All in All the walls were covered with mosquitoes. It was the most disgusting thing ever. Both of us had fly swatters. If we were in slow motion, it would have been hilarious. Oh, yeah, 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 we were killing mosquitoes And those aren't the type of situations everywhere. where you're like, hold on, Trish, let me go get the camera. And yes. it was just like, how do we so save ourselves? Caleb's, all of his arms, anywhere where the skin is really tender, he mm -hmm. had like 50 mosquito bites, all bumps everywhere. It was Couldn't go to sleep. They were all around us. Got one hour of sleep last night, and now I'm just angry. So then from there, like later on, we thought we had lost our credit card at a restaurant, and then we ended up losing power because it was raining so many days. So we didn't have any, we had no power in the rig. And then on top of all of that, 
we went, how many days without coffee? I don't know. We ran out of coffee, we ran out of food. I don't know what was happening. It was just all kind we of We were on a apart. bad streak. And I know, you know, of course we don't have any footage of this either, which I know a lot of people particularly have been asking for this types of footage. Of course, at the same time, when things go like this, it doesn't really make that interesting of a story and it's very hodgepodge, so it's even hard to tell, which is why we like to share it in this format, because yes. we, have, we have time to reflect on it and look back. The other thing we have, which is an advantage, is we've been doing this for over two years. Mm -hmm. And so we have perspective on the fact that this isn't how it always goes. But Trish and I were talking, mm -hmm. and we thought to ourselves, you know, if someone was out with their family for the first time, and this is how it went, and it could very well go like this, then yeah. what do they think? Yeah, then what? So we know that your RV trips can't all be perfect. We've been doing this for two years. How does somebody that's been doing this for two years run out of power, run out of food, and run, run out, out, of, out of coffee? Oh, how, how is that possible? <laughs> so we're like, you know what? This is called the snowball. It's when one thing leads to the next. Mm -hmm. And so there's three things to consider when you feel like your trip is getting off track. So number one, be aware. Be aware that you're actually in something and call it something. Yeah, we've, we've shared with you the dip, and now we have the snowball. And the reason we come up with these silly names is because it's easy for us to identify that something's going on, and we're able to call it something and mm -hmm. quickly identify it. Give your enemy a name. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but here's why the snowball's so important, because individually, all the things that are going wrong are not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. But then they add up day mm -hmm. after day, and collectively they wear on you and they make you tired. Fatiguing, fatiguing. Yeah, and it, and it makes us distracted. Mm -hmm. And here's the last thing you wanna do when you're distracted and tired, is hook up your rig. You're working with electric, you're working with heavy machinery, you're tired, fatigued, and possibly angry. And so you hear these stories about awnings breaking and powers not getting disconnected and driving away with slides out, and mm -hmm. I can't help but to think that the snowball had something to do with that. Maybe there were a bunch of little things that added up to something big. So when I know I'm in a snowball situation, I'm distracted, I actually take even more time with these things. Okay, so number two is solve one problem at a time. Yeah, it's a snowball, right? So there's all sorts of stuff that's all in there and it's hard to figure out which way's up with all of the different stuff that's been leading up to identifying the snowball. Yeah, spread out those problems. <laughs> Find the biggest one and say, you, I'm taking you down Well, right and which now. one do we like to hit first when we're in a quote unquote snowball? The one that's causing us the most stress. The most fatigue and the problem that will likely help solve other problems. So for instance, uh, a lot the of times- The gateway problem. The gateway problem. In some cases, everyone could be hungry and getting a little irritable. Yes. And so rather than trying to solve the problem, let's just go find a place to eat. So number three, don't make the snowball mean anything. Yeah, so what, what do we mean by that? <laughs> yes. Well, it's easy when you're in, when everything is going sideways and people aren't very happy and nothing's working out and things are collapsing on top of each other. It's easy in that moment to start making a lot of conclusions. I hate camping! <laughs> I knew this is what our be. This is exactly like. what I told you this was gonna happen if we went on this trip this I weekend. I never wanted to do this anyway! <laughs> <laughs> so we've learned that when things are going a little sideways, you're in a snowball that it's good to just talk about it later. Get yes. some reflection upon what's happening. And Go back to number two. Yes. <laughs> Dissect it, find out what the problems and are. And just focus on, yeah. Step one, be aware you're in the snowball. Number two, figure out the thing you need to solve right now. And then number three, don't make it mean anything. And the advantage to this is that you don't have to go back and apologize to everyone <laughs> for all the things you said when you were in a snowball. That's right, because really, we can all have a groundhog moment where we look back and mm -hmm. we say, what could we have done better? Most likely, it's in our hands. We could actually make some changes, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, well, and plus, once you get away from it, right? Well, in our case, you saw the battery problems and everything. It's like, no oh, okay. There's no emotion. Yeah, now it's like, all right, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was, and so. Yes, there was a reasonable explanation, or I know what not to do next time. Yes. Right? Yeah. We hope some of these ideas were helpful to you when you're on your trip, because it's bound to happen, mm -hmm. and this will help you bounce back, chop. bounce back faster. Karate chop that snowball. Yeah. We have a way that you get out of it, because we joke around about the dip where your expectations don't meet reality, we call mm -hmm. that the dip, and we're like, you go out for ice cream, you go do something fun, but what are the practical ways that your family actually stops the drama and gets through to a solution. Yeah. I would love to know. Yeah, put it in the comments below and other people read that too. 
So, all right, now we still have some footage back in Denali as we said goodbye to Zach and Alyssa, who were so great, gracious to take us on that hike. Oh my gosh, it was so great. Was and so Zach amazing. knew so much. Oh, yeah. He taught us about tundra, about the oh, berries, yes. about the animals. We actually saw caribou, mm -hmm. the legacy, the namesake I caribou. I'll show you that. <laughs> caribou Lodge. <laughs> so, anyway, but check them out online. Oh, yeah, it we have was... links to uh, Alaska Bush Plane Company down below and Caribou Lodge down below, so definitely check it out. I think seeing Denali from the air out of Talkeetna is one of the most spectacular ways that you can do it. Yes. And considering that only 30% get to see it ever, you're gonna have way better chance of seeing it by doing that. And of course, we will see you next Sunday with hopefully a little bit more footage. More footage, <laughs> more footage. So put it off, we'll see. Put them off if no fruit Cause the fallen is here Cause the garden of me Fell for repenting Summer comes And the baby is awake The frost may fall Persevering.